Hey guys, uh, I'm going to bring you a review on this uh, launcher I found on the Google Play Store called Hollow Launcher HD. This may look like stock Android, and if you've seen it before, it does have some more features though. Um, what's really neat is the new is the way you can scroll, and I haven't found any lag with it. And I'm running the Phase Beam Live wallpaper, so if you, uh, I mean, if you look at it, it's really sharp, especially in the Nexus 7's 1280 by 800 just resolution display. I can click this, and I can go back to my the previews of the home screen. I can go tap. There you go. See. Or I can just zoom out. There we go. And you hold down on the long press on there, you get launcher actions, which we'll go into. Okay. Get your app drawers, screen previews, navigation bar, toggle status bar, toggle dog, launcher settings. Let's go into launcher settings. So you swipe up, you get your menu. Oops. I haven't noticed any lag with it at all. So let's go into the launcher settings to see what we can do with this. Okay, so what you're going to find in your typical launcher settings is your general settings, desktop settings, drawer settings, docs, and appearance settings, and various other things. This is the free version of Hollow Launcher. Let me go into the general settings and turn off that. And it's already set as default launcher, which is stock Android 4.3. Um, Nexus 7 packs a 1.3 gigahertz quad core Nvidia Tiger 3 chip, Cortex E9 processor. So if we go into the gestures and keys, which I really find really nice, you can set the home key action to do nothing. Which I'm going to set. You can swipe up the menu, do nothing, just scroll down. Long key press menu is going to the search. And it does not work on the Nexus 7 because of its on screen keys. Uh, I just downloaded it this morning, and as you can see, I think the live wallpapers took a toll out of the battery. If you can see that, it's right at 53%. It was only 62 today. Um. Going into the app drawer, it looks like the normal app drawer you'd see in stock Android, but I've changed the animations. Instead of it cards doing the having the card stack animation, as you see on the Motorola Zoom or any other tablets where it go you scroll and it's like this. I changed it to the tablet, the ten inch tablet style scrolling. Because I really like it. And if I mean, I haven't noticed any battery drain. Only the battery drain I've noticed with this is the live wallpaper. You got your folders here. It's typical. You can move this. And then your apps are right from the middle of your home screen. You can have multiple dock pages, but I only prefer one. So right here, you got your folders. You just drag a fold one. You drag one to another to get the folder. Just like stock Android, but more customizable. And you can keep, you can remove stuff, edit the name of it, um, let's remove it, go to your app info, so let's just remove it, so there's already one there. I mean, it's a really decent launcher actually, it's free, it's, I believe it's by Mobint Software. And just scroll down to, yep, Mobint Software. Really decent. I really like it. Um, especially in the Nexus 7, the powerful one. And this is the first gen, so it's not the new one. It still does the job, though. I mean, just scrolling through it feels really nice. You can just have the home key, go back to the little home screen, and you can just, you can scroll right through pages with no lag at all. I mean, if I go, I'm going to go into the Play Store, and I, there is, uh, oops, there is a, uh, some add-ons you can also get. Let's turn this into portrait. So 
let's just go down to you know, let's go down to uh, where is it hull launcher let's click on that this is the HD version so um, and there's some reviews on here for the Ace Nexus 7 um, the hollow Moment Software has also these other hollow features, is what they call it. You got hollow notifier, you got hollow locker, which gives you the jelly bean lock screen. It doesn't work too well. I mean, you still on the Nexus 7 have the lock screen for the Nexus. So, I mean, they even got the Hollow Hunter Plus there. And, yeah, not too much there, but I mean, it's got a lot of customization. Um, let's turn the live wallpaper off and I'll show you what its static looks like. Here's your stock. These are your stock uh, backgrounds. So it's on one of the stock backgrounds. And it still feels pretty nice scrolling. It's even got that nice little animation that you'd see on Android 4.3 or Jelly Bean, the stock version. Really decent. Uh, Moment software makes some really good apps too. And you got your widget that's up here. Search for donuts in Guelph. Okay. I mean, there's that. There, that's Google now. You still have the recent apps tab. I can go like this because this does not have a menu key on this type of launcher. So you know, like you can just scroll up. You can add multiple screens, I think, and rearrange them. Uh, really decent. So I would say keep it up, Moment Software. You're doing great. Peace out, guys.